Hello guys, welcome to the recording of uh, the new Sense 4.0 running on my HTC Sensation. Uh, this is based on Ice Cream Sandwich version 4.0.4. .4. So the custom ROM I'm running right now is CoinDroid. Uh, there's a collaboration between one of the guys and the guy who makes Insert Coin. Most of you are familiar with that. So here I'm just going through the home screens uh, showing you how cool it is. The live wallpaper that you see in the background comes um, preloaded with this uh, Sense ROM. So you don't need to get that from the market. It looks pretty cool. Uh, if you notice it's running a bit slow, this is because of uh, the recording program I'm using. Uh, but uh, in real life it runs much faster than you are seeing right now. Notice how the background also changes color. After some time, it first started out with pink, then it turned orange. Now I think it's about to turn green also. It's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, so here's the dialer we have here. Uh, it looks a bit different. Um, same old, same old. Uh, we've got the people's tab, the groups tab, and the call history tab. And you can like swipe over those and you, it gives you like this 3D effect, which is pretty cool. The pointer that you're seeing there uh, is from the program I'm using as well, Screencast. Um, what else am I going to show you next? Yes, uh, now I'm going to go to the messages. Again, don't mind the lag. Uh, this is because of the recording program I'm using. It's using so much processing power. So yeah, that's the messaging app. And um, it doesn't really look much different to the old sense, except for the colors, some of the things there. And uh, you know you can um, pinch to zoom in and pinch to zoom out. That feature still remains the same. It's there on the older, older versions of Sense. Got the menu tab there. We've got options to back up your SMS and other things. You also have an option to search your messages. Uh, that cool keyboard that you just saw, um, that is Swift Key. You can find it on the market. Uh, I got the paid version. I really love this keyboard. Uh, you can change the theme of the keyboard and it's really good at predict predicting your sentences and uh, all other things like that. Uh, what else I'm going to show you? Now I'm going to show you the menu. Going through the menu now. And um, instead of swiping up and down, this one does it from side to side, which is pretty cool. And you can see on the top right there, there's a link to the Play Store directly which is pretty awesome and uh yes uh, you get the same 3d effect if you swipe over at the bottom tabs there which is pretty cool um in terms of battery this rom is really really good with the battery uh i'm always playing games on it and um i managed to get by through a day my day usually starts at around 8 a.m then i i should be back home at around like 7 p.m and I will still have like 30% battery remaining and that's after playing a few games of words with friends and all other games like that so it's cool here's the camera up here oh I'm surprised it's actually showing you the things I'm seeing there with the old version of screencast you couldn't see but uh yeah the camera looks exactly like the one on the one X um, allows you to take pictures as you record videos but um with this version of sense you can't do that uh, here i am in the gallery um not much difference two looks about the same this is just my pictures from the gallery there just scrolling through them the album style is still all the same no much difference there that's good uh back to the home screen now uh just gonna go through the settings and show you how the settings menu looks you can see it looks a bit different to the older versions of Sense. Here you also have got the option to use Wi-Fi Direct. Um, I haven't used that option myself, but um, allows you to transfer files with another phone that is Wi-Fi Direct um, directly, just as the name says. Uh, here's the usage meter that shows you message usage and call log and everything like that. That's pretty cool. I actually just found out about this one as I was doing this review. I had forgotten I had this or knew I had this. Um, so now I'm just going to show you the version. Okay. Uh, just show you the display and just just menu. 
what we have there so the menus but i'm not going to go through them we'll do that in another video for in-depth features i'm just going to show you the software version i'm running again this is a custom rom called called coin droid running on my htc sensation it's based on android 4.04 you can see here's my hardware settings my process is overclocked to 1.7 gigahertz it's a dual core the kernel i'm running is bricked as you can see there from the information menu yeah just gonna show you the power settings there and um it hasn't really changed much from our older versions of android it just shows you uh you know what's going on there i really have bad reception reception over here so it's the most thing that it's my battery yeah, otherwise i'll be getting much much better life here's the notifications menu uh, just hit the clear button there and you can jump straight to settings from that there i'm sure there are mods for you to have quick settings in the notification bar but um i'm not aware of them i haven't really bothered to look for them but i'm sure they will be there somewhere there. so yeah that's the home screen there i'm just going to show you the personalized menu and see what how you can customize your your phone there uh we'll start with the skins yeah the skins that come with sense 4.0 that's the current one i have then there's the original one you start with when you flash your phone we've got the aluminium one and the mate one but um, i like the serene one because it's tra transparent it allows you to see yeah behind through uh here are the lock screens you can see there's a new lock screen here the productivity it's not there in other versions of scent so that's pretty cool uh you're all familiar with the fault album stream and the friend stream lock screen and where the lock screen this one is a new one as well the people lock screen uh clock and the stocks lock screen but i don't have any shares so never gonna use that lock screen <laughs> yeah so just me scrolling through there showing how it is uh so when you do a long press to press widgets this is the screen that comes up it makes it so much easier to scroll through widgets and apply them in the previous versions of sense it was really painful to put widgets in the log on on your screen because you'd have to scroll through an endless list and every time you did it was so painful but with this one you can see the home screens you want to apply the lock screen to and you can scroll those home screens and uh yeah choose the widgets you wanna so yeah sense 4.0 is really a big improvement you can see it's really easy how to put widgets there over there and you can just jump to any home screen by tapping on those screens right at the top there and it's a good thing it shows you all the widgets how they look like as well so yeah it's pretty good you can also put apps and shortcuts all the way from there i didn't wait for the shortcuts to load again you get the 3d effect by sliding through the menus like that so yeah very good those are the wizards i just put over there uh what am i gonna review next yes the clock uh i really like the world clock they have here it's like it has the 3d effect it's pretty pretty awesome so it shows me my location there and uh, you can see the lighting on the on the earth itself depends on the time what it is there so you can see over the americas it's dark right now and over in australia it's light this is pretty awesome now the alarms menu still looks about the same stopwatch still looks about the same and the timer still looks about the same as well and again you get the 3d effect if you scroll over at the bottom there which is pretty pretty cool next so we'll look at the weather weather hasn't really changed it's just about the same as well uh, i'm not gonna go in depth into it but i'm um, just show you the few screens you can see there i can show you the hourly weather or the four day w forecast it's pretty simple you can see the animations there that's nice so yeah that's it there i'm gonna restart the recording i'm just saving it right now in case it will crash I'm afraid that uh, it might get overloaded but um 
in the next review oh yes it's already on uh yes uh, so this is the task manager when you do a long press of the home button that's the screen comes up uh oops what's going on here oh yeah that screen has the application i'm using to recording so i'm just gonna stop that and restart the recording okay now i've started the recording again so i'm gonna show you the task manager you do if you press the home button once uh, you get to see all the panels the home screens you have it's very cool if you do a long press on it uh, you'll be able to see the apps that are running there uh, the transition is smoother than what you're seeing here but um to end each app you either swipe up or down and you can see that it just swiped up there so that's pretty good that's the folders i just opened my games folder i'm gonna open the favorites folder see there it's pretty cool you can see the icon for google drive over there but i'm not gonna review that in this video what else have i missed again uh, yes, I'm gonna show you the music player now. The music player has changed so much. Uh, it looks so much nicer. You can start tuning radio from there. And uh, you can see my recently played songs over there. And um, shortcuts there. You can play directly from media servers like your computer, your Windows computer. You can make it so you can stream music from it and play it on your HTC wirelessly over your Wi Fi network. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Um, see the menus for the songs there. I'm just scrolling down through. Uh, most of these songs have album art, but um, my music players and really refreshed to show all of them. Oh, that's just a Facebook notification there at the top. I'm gonna play one of the songs there, and uh, yeah, it comes up with this album art there. If you click on that i menu, I'm just click there and uh. You can say this song is your ringtone it is a ringtone trimmer at the top there you get an option of um, updating the album art and um, yes updating album art and uh, you also have got the sound enhancer I'm just gonna open that up again sound enhancer Okay, yeah, so you've got many effects, you've got Beats, Audio, Surround Sound, Dolby. I haven't really tested those to see uh, which one is pretty awesome. And uh, you also have the option of selecting the headphones you're using in case you're using any of the Beats brand headphones. But I just have the normal HTC hands-free. But um, of all those ones I've tested, uh, the Beats Audio does seem to be the best one of them all. But uh, yeah, it's not really a killer feature or anything like that. Just so. So thank you for watching, guys. And I will we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.